the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Lord of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, today we have Father Giovanni Cocona. He's uh, celebrating the Mass with us. Thank you, Father, for being here today. Welcome. I can't believe people. You know, this guy came to the restaurant and called that waitress, 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 it's very cold. Please put the air conditioning. And the waitress, very relaxed, left. Yes, sir. So three minutes later, the guy called back, hey, waitress, waitress, come again. It's very hot. Put the air conditioning. The lady, very relaxed, smiling, left. Three minutes later, she called the waitress again. Hey, waitress, waitress, now it's very cold again. Turn off the air conditioning. And the waitress very relaxed. One of the customers was hearing all that. And he said, it's amazing. You are very kind, very relaxed. You are no bother with this guy. And the waitress smiling asked, sir, we don't have air conditioning in this restaurant. <laughs> I can't believe people. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Lord of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ had mercy. Lord Jesus, you are wood with flesh. You are the splendor of the Father. Lord, had mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God, glory to God in the highest. Let us rejoice and be glad in the commem commemoration of all the holy saints. Almighty, ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all your saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, the abundance of the reconciliation with you, for which we earnestly long 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a lo loud voice to the four angels who were given power to damage the land and the sea. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal, 144,000 marked, from every tribe of the Israelites. After this, I had a vision of a great multitude, which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing ro white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshiping God, and exclaimed, Amen. Blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power, and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, Who are these wearing white robes, and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Blah. 
seeks for you, that seeks your face, O oh God of Jacob. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet, so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure as he is pure. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and then persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I can't believe children. I can't believe children. You know, this little boy was in the mathematics class. So the teacher was asking, oh, teacher, are you paying attention? Yes, teacher. Okay, 
somebody can tell me if I have six uh, oranges in this hand and I have uh, five oranges in this hand, what do I have? Little Chris raised a hand and, she, and he said, teacher, you had a very big hands. I can't believe children. My dear brothers and sisters, the homily today will be a minute. So are you paying attention? Yes. We all know that we are celebrating today this beautiful feast of all saints. And you know, the beautiful thing of this celebration is that in the beginning, the name was not all saints celebration. In the 313, uh, when the Roman Empire stopped persecuting the Christians, the name of this feast, 313, was the celebration of all martyrs in May, in the, May, in the month of May. So in the history, through the ages, through the years, the Catholic Church, the Christian community, were thinking about to, yes, yeah, celebrate the martyrs, the people who give their lives for the faith, but also celebrate all people, holy people, all those people who are working very hard to be saved. So, in the three, excuse me, in the 835, Pope Gregory IV instituted the Feast of All Saints in the whole Universal Catholic Church. So, my dear brothers and sisters, this celebration of All Saints is celebrating, started to be celebrated uh, almost more than uh, 12 centuries beautifully. Why? Because our Catholic Church, we know that everyone is called to salvation. Amen? Everyone, you and me, we are called to be saint, holy people, close to God. So my dear brothers and sisters, in the whole Catholic Church, this day and tomorrow, uh, we celebrate all saints. Three Four, four little ideas, and I finish. First, the Feast of All Saints invite us to realize that holiness is for everybody. And we get, give thanks to God. Why? Why? Because so many people throughout the ages, throughout the years, throughout the centuries, so many people have been close to God. They have permitted the Holy Spirit to move them. These people, uh, moved by the faith, they had lived their lives in the presence of God, in peace and holiness. So today is a beautiful time to give thanks to God for all the saints, the ones who are in the altar canonized. But so many people, they are not uh, canonized, but they are holy, holy people, Amen. We can remember our parents, our grandparents, all these beautiful people with very strong faith. Today is a beautiful time to say, to tell God, thank you for these people. Secondly, today is a beautiful time to honor and respect all the saints throughout the ages. But we need to do it with a beautiful commitment. We need to imitate them. It is not enough to say, oh, the saints are very good friends of Jesus. Yes, but you and me, we need to imitate the saints. We need to be holy people. We need to be like them and be obedient to Jesus in fulfilling his commandments. So today is a beautiful time to uh, imitate our, the saints and ask their intercession. Sir, today is a beautiful time to remember that holiness is a universal calling for every baptized person. My dear brothers and sisters, are you, are you called to be holy people? Yes or not? Yes. Yes. One day I remember in Mexico, I remember my oldest brother, uh, my mama came uh, come to see my mom and my papa, and my mama starts calling my brother. You know, you need to be better 
brother, you need to be better, you need to do. And my brother, very seriously, very relaxed, saw my mama. And she said, Mama, I am doing okay. Or, or you like me to be a saint, a holy man? My mama says, yes. Bad question, you know. So my brother said, oh, I am a good man. Or you like to be, you like me to be holy, holy man? Yes, I like you to be holy man. So God like us to be holy people. And let me finish. The word holiness in Latin sanctification comes from the verb sectare. Sectare in Latin, Latin means cut. Sectare, holiness, sanctification. Sectare means cut. If you like to be holy, if we like to be holy, we need to cut sin. Amen? We need to cut evil. Amen? We need to cut the bad temper. Amen? We need to cut all those people who do not permit us to dwell in grace, in the kindness of God, in the peace of Christ. Raise a hand the people who like to hear, hear the story, the homeless finish. The people who, the people who don't, doesn't like to hear the story, they, you can leave after the collection. We don't have collection. I will never forget when I was a new priest 30 years ago in Mexico. Uh, I was very happy. I said, oh my goodness, I am a Catholic priest. I, after 15 years in the seminary, I can hear confessions. I can, I can get absolution. Oh my God. I feel very happy. So I went to my parish where I grew up in San Pedro de la Quepaque, And I asked my pastor, Father, and the, the priest was very happy to see me ordained. He was close to me, the priest, you know, the pastor. I said, Father, I have time. Can I hear confessions? And the priest told me, I said, yes, you can help me. So I went to hear confessions, very proud of myself. I am the priest. I was ordained. I can hear confessions and get the absolution in the name of the Blessed Trinity. So I went, I sat, and I an old woman came to confess. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned in Spanish. So I was very proud of myself, you know. So, yes, say your sin. But you know, when that woman started saying uh, her sin, when she started confessing, you could touch the Holy Spirit. You could, you could touch the presence of God you know that God was dwelling in her beautifully. And I said, oh, my God. I, I would like to tell her, you know, lady, we're in the wrong places. You need to sit here. And maybe you need to confess the priest, you know. My whole point is that in the uh, church of God, in our parishioners, there are beautiful, holy people that they can show, you can touch God through their life. God bless all the holy people. God bless all those people who are trying to live their life in holiness. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Please stand. And let us do our profession of faith. I believe in one God, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Substantial with the Father, through him all the world made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnated of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven 
and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom they have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward for the resurrection of the dead and the light of the world to come. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, in Christ, we and the saints share God's divine life. And so, from hearts filled with hope, let us offer our prayers to the Lord. For the church, may she be blessed with holy, spirit-filled men and women to serve as priests, deacons, and consecrated religious, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation, may the Holy Spirit guide us with wisdom as we elect new leaders this coming week, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are married and those who are single, may they live out their vocation by serving God as his holy people in their daily lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are ill, alone, and afraid, may they find peace in Christ, the peace Christ offers to all who suffer, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those we love who have died, and all the saints who stand in the presence of God, especially Roberto Machado, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us gathered, near and far, like the saints, may we become more holy men, women, and children through our love for God and our care for our neighbor, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, most holy, you gather us among your elect. Hear our prayers that one day we too may worship before your throne to Christ our Lord. that you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your good news, we have received the wine. We offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your good news, we have received the wine. We offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
pray, my sisters, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints, we pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concern for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Towards her, we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon us, those exalted members of the church through whom you give us in our frailty both a strength and good example. And so we glorify you with the multitude of saints and angels is with one voice of praise we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered well into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this all of you and each of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many.
for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. That mystery of celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. My sisters, my brothers, at the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your children, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
my sisters, my brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. I should end it on my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia Canine Meum in Vitam Eternum.
let us pray. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace so that coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland. To Christ our Lord. Please be seated a little bit. Our high school youth group meets tomorrow evening at 6.30 p.m. in the gym, and the junior youth group will meet Friday evening at 6.30 in the gym also. Our Knights of Columbus are having Thanksgiving Bunko Night this coming Friday, 7 to 9, in the Parish Hall. They also continue to sell chances to win a boat rental and dinner for 10 at Stonewood Grill after Mass this evening. All proceeds go to ensure the legacy foundation for our school. Dynamic Catholic is offering a virtual event on November 5th. It's called Amazing Possibilities with Matthew Kelly as the featured speaker. This is a free online event, but you need to sign up in advance. Email Donna Carl to register. Her address is in today's bulletin. If you go to the website, it looks like you'll be charged $25. But for us as a dynamic parish, that is free, and that's why you need to contact Donna. Perhaps you're wondering more about the first class relics that we have here this evening. There are four saints relics that we've got here. The one that's separate, and you see the larger picture, that's St. Catherine Labore of France, who received a vision from the Blessed Virgin Mary to create the miraculous medal that so many people wear today. One of the relics in the small box is of Pius X, who was Pope from 1903 to 1914. This was given to our parish last year by Barbara Schultz, who many of you know. Another is St. John Nauman, who was a Catholic priest born in Bohemia in 1811 and then immigrated to the U.S. in 1836. He later became Bishop of Philadelphia and is the only U.S. Bishop to ever be canonized to this point. Here we go. Blessed Jersey Popolushko, somewhere in there, is that near that? <laughs> was a Polish priest born in 1947. Blessed Jersey was a supporter of the Solidarity Movement in Poland and was martyred in 1984 for his faith. Some of you may know that Father Remick was part of the documentary that tells his life story. After Mass, you're invited to come forward and look more closely at these relics but please respect the need for social distancing. Our veneration of relics such as these is one of the many ways that we offer worship to our God. Monday, November 2nd is All Souls Day, the commemoration of the faithful departed. At 5.30 Mass, we'll remember those who have died from our parish in the last year. And beginning Monday and continuing for eight days, all our masses will be offered for the faithful departed. Remember that we continue to live stream the 4.30 Saturday evening mass and the 12.30 Spanish mass on Sunday. We have confessions on Saturday at 3 p.m. and we have a communion service for those unable to attend mass at the shrine at 2 p.m. on Sunday afternoons. And finally this evening, please wait and remember to be socially distanced as you leave the parish. Thank you. Happy Halloween. Okay, as uh, Mrs. Carol told us, uh, this month we will have the, all the masses prayed for our faithful departed in November. It's a beautiful tradition that we have in our Catholic Church. So please give us all the names of our faithful departed, parents, grandparents, so that we can put them in the altar and all this month pray for that beautiful people, our faithful departed. Finally, i like to give you thanks for your prayer. You know, it was my birthday and you were very generous in your prayers, in your gifts, 
but also when I was there in quarantine, you were uh, amazing. You were calling me, you were worried about me, and God bless you for all that. God bless. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you always and your families, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thank you.